So The Ballad of Sexual Dependency is a book by Nan Golden. Probably one of, in my opinion, the best books done on photography, feminism, and just sexuality, gender, and so forth. And the photos are incredibly powerful, and it's actually a very rare book. And the reason I love the book is that it's such an intimate look into not only in the life of Nan Golden, but also her writings on feminism are actually very powerful, very poignant. And you look at the photos, and they have a lot to do with sexual dependency, a lot to do with uh, domestic violence. And one thing that Cindy actually mentioned was important is that she didn't want someone else to write her own history. She wrote her own history. And if you take a look at the photos, you could just kind of see the love, the intimacy, the interesting pairings of images. This is a picture of her parents. And you could see the photos of just this feeling of free love, I guess in the 80s. People were doing a lot of drugs. And when I look at the photos, I really like how some of the photos are have a blank page on the opposite side because it gives it better flow. And also the colors in the photos are quite magnificent. It looked like it was shot on like an older film, but still the pairings of the blue and the reds here and the leading lines in the composition. So you can see when you're making a photo book, having the opposing compositions could kind of really creates a beautiful spread. And of course, Disclaimer or warning a lot of photos in this book are very sexual, but essentially Nan Golden was just photographing her life She was photographing her friends. She was photographing the environment in which she was in and to me, it's really powerful because Essentially we could document our own lives our own loved ones our friends the intimate relationships we've had and You can see once again just the pairings of like images like in the bathroom and Nan Golden also does a lot of self-portraits of herself, so I think this is a photo of her friend masturbating, I think, and then this is a self-portrait of Nan Golden here also on the side there. And you can see, once again, all the different images, just full of so much emotion and power. And she is the only one, and there's also different chapters. Ah, so the prior Im uh, chapter was on women, now this is on men. And I honestly haven't had a chance to read the essays yet, um, but I plan to do so when I do afterwards. But you can see the artful use of colors, the red here on the left, the blue here on the right. And also shows too, like, the interesting thing about male masculinity is male are always expected to be super strong and powerful, yet, of course, there's some sort of, you know, it's okay for men to show weakness too. and. I just love the photographs and yeah, just the intimacy in the photographs. She also documents her lover. On these guys just pissing. Yeah, these are like uh, male to male relationships. Um, relationships. Or what kind of relationships? Fr relationships and friendships amongst men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> relationships amongst men. She took a lot of photos in Provincetown, which is quite famous for the gay community. This is actually probably one of the most famous images. It's a photo, a self portrait of herself. Nan, after being battered in 1984, I guess battered by her boyfriend. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Also, this one here heart-shaped bruise. So it just kind of shows that just how brutal some relationships could be too and how often couples get dependent on each other, how there's often violence, whether emotional or physical, in relationships. But you know, still there just being lots of love and there have been lots of hope. And it's really nice thing about this book is that she challenges gender norms in relationships, like whether you're bi or queer or questioning or whether you're straight and once again a very strong commentary on politics gender relationships children i guess this is the chapter on children really intimate photos i love this photo it just puts me in such a good mood almost looks like a painting 
So make sure, I'm not sure you can find a local copy or library or whatever, but it's a very rare book, unfortunately, but take a look at the images. I'm not sure if you can find these images somewhere else online, but the image is very powerful, very loving, very moving. And hopefully this could be a spur for you to challenge your own notions of sexuality, gender, relationships. So huge thanks, of course, Nan Golden for having the strength and the courage for taking the photos and publishing it. And hopefully she can inspire the rest of us to, yeah, essentially make photos which are not just nice photographs, but meaningful and some sort of statement. This is another image of her, Nan and her boyfriend. Life and death, like this spread. Yeah, acknowledgements, a lot of people helped her in this project. It's a picture of Nan. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, make sure once again, check out a copy of the Ballad of Sexual Dependency and question the purpose of photography is to make a social statement and a social change.